Here at Winters Performance, spline gears, shafts, couplers, and other components are a central part of what we do. In our other video about how gears are made, we showed you the broaching process, which is used for cutting internal splines in the center bore of quick change gears and other parts. Here we wanted to show you how we create spline shafts using our West Michigan Spline 48 inch spline roller. There are a couple different ways to create splines. Manual and CNC hobs cut the splines into the metal by rolling the shaft over a series of teeth on a rotating cutting tool. The spline roller uses a different process entirely. Unlike the hob that cuts into the material, the spline roller actually presses the splines into the metal. It's similar to the forging process, except instead of using a huge hammer and die to forge the shape, it uses two opposing slides fitted with forming tools. The shaft is fed into the roller, and as the forming tools slide from side to side, they cold form the spline using an immense amount of pressure, on average about 50,000 pounds per square inch for most of the splines we're rolling. The result is an involute spline that is far superior in strength. The advantage of cold forming is that it creates a stronger spline. Metal has a grain structure, just like wood, and when you cut into the grain, it can create stress points. Cold forming the material, which in our case is usually steel or titanium, actually changes the grain structure, forcing it to follow the form of the tooth, creating a stronger spline. That's not to say hobbing is obsolete. We still use hobs for square splines, but for parts like quick change lower shafts, axles, and other components, where spline strength could be the difference between winning a race or breaking, the spline roller is our go-to machine. For more information on our heavy-duty shafts, axles, and other racing driveline components, please visit our website or give us a call.